To speak to the biggest movie directors in the world, you go to Hollywood. To speak to the biggest game designers, you come to Tokyo. In Japan, it's customary to exchange gifts before an interview, but what do you get the guy whose many lifetime achievement awards stand proudly just behind? Yeah, I don't know if you like Doctor <laughs> Who. Yeah, uh, and I, I hear you're a bit of a oh, Lego oh. fan. Yes, uh, on yes. the quiet. Oh, thank you. Um, 30 years ago, games were all about fighting things until this man decided to make one about sneaking around instead. The stealth genre that's still so popular today was born. For decades, he made Metal Gear titles for the giant gaming company Konami, which sold millions of copies. Oh, wow. But after splitting from them controversially in 2015, gamers across the world are desperate to find out what he's up to now. I feel like I'm in a sci-fi film. <laughs> so far, just two trailers about his next game, Death Stranding, which will be a PlayStation exclusive. We want this game to be uh, something that people can get into very easily, but after they play it for about an hour or two, they start to notice something a little different. It's, it's something that they haven't played before. Also, the motion capture studio uh, sorry, is... Scam. It is normal to stay tight-lipped about upcoming projects like this. It's far too soon for people to test it, so no one can say if it'll be any good. Are you in the game? <laughs> Secret. <laughs> but the idea that it's different from what's been before is no surprise. As we visit places that have been important turning points in his recent history, he explained how he sees the gaming industry changing forever, with movies, games and music converging in different ways. Oh, so maybe it's a backstory, or maybe it's... Uh, right, I see. Oh, so it's sort of, there are hidden, almost hidden, hidden movies or hidden series within the game. Mm. Yes, for example, or within a movie have a, a game hidden. Ah, right, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Things such as games and music and novels and movies and all of these things will kind of mesh together into one, one type of uh, entertainment. What struck me about spending time with Hideo Kojima is here's a man who's achieved everything there is to in the gaming industry. And when I asked him about retirement, he basically said no chance. He's still really passionate and energetic about technology and gaming and he's still coming up with new ideas and he set himself his biggest challenge yet. He's changed the gaming industry once and now he wants to do it again. Stefan Powell, BBC News, Tokyo.